Hey guys, I'm hopping back into Elder Scrolls Online here in 2024, and it's been about a year since I've put any time into this game. And, you know, it's just about time to check it out again and try out some of the new content I missed and let you all know what I think about it. This video might be a bit rambly, so please bear with me if you feel that way. And yeah, let's hop into it. First off, I'm going to talk about why I stopped playing in the first place. And honestly, my main reasons I quit playing the game in the first place was really coming down to a few factors. One thing that kind of drove me crazy was the convenience that you get with the ESO Plus subscription. And um, what I mean by that is the mostly the inventory and crafting bag situation. I don't like subscriptions to games and the fact that to enjoy in-game content, it really felt necessary to have that subscription. It was a bit frustrating, but um, another reason I stopped playing was um, that when I was playing, I was mostly getting on for events, and those actually get super repetitive, and they may have you do dungeons or daily quests or anything of that sort, and or PvP, and to me, all those get really repetitive and aren't really the best reason to play the game, and I'll kind of get into the best way to enjoy the game in a minute, but I think by taking a different approach here in 2024, I can find a lot more enjoyment in this game. Another reason I hopped back in was the new mode, Endless Archive. I heard this mode came out in 2023, and it was a good way to play solo. You can even bring a com like a computer companion in and get it somewhat of a dungeon experience, while also having it ramp up higher and higher in difficulty as you progress and to me that sounded like something cool and I don't typically play this game with friends I don't really have a friend who plays this game so um yeah call me an isocial but I don't really like finding a group or finding a random uh random dungeon finder type situation to find people I, I kind of like to just play by myself listen to the music and that sort of thing so anyways after trying the mode, I have kind of mixed feelings about it. Um, say the first thing that I'd like to say about it is the concept of it's great, and again, I, I really like the idea of it, and I think it would be pretty fun if that's the sort of thing you're into, but I ultimately realized that, to me, it's not the most fun way to play the game, and feels like, um, I mean, it is endless, but it feels like an endless grind, and again, not really... I like about the game and I'll get into that in just a little bit later in the video. Next reason I wanted to hop back in was the Necrom expansion. I didn't play any of that in 2023 so I wanted to kind of get a feel for it and um, see about the new Arcanist class too and just see if it added fun new content a new part of the world and if I'm being honest though um, before making this video I haven't gotten to try it out yet. Um, even though it has positive reviews and I was intrigued on the setting, I um, hadn't finished the High Isle DLC yet and kind of want to give that a try before I hop in an Ekrom. So that's another reason I'm coming back and we'll get back to that and maybe I'll make a video about it in the future if you guys are interested, kind of give my thoughts and overall opinions on it. And yeah, if you're curious of that, just drop a comment and let me know. And then the next big point I wanted to go over was Really the best part of Elder Scrolls Online is still intact. And what that is for me, something I alluded to earlier, but it's my favorite way to play ESO. I haven't heard other I have heard others say this as well, but in my opinion, it's the most enjoyable way to play this game. And that is by questing and going through the main story arcs and um in this game there's just there's so many DLCs and so many storylines to go through that Honestly, just playing it as a as a game built around world building and lore, playing it almost more like a single player Elder Scrolls game to me is the most fun way. Again, I think that experience too could be great if you have a few people playing along with you. That to me doesn't like hinder the experience at all. But ultimately, my point is, um, yeah, there's so many quests and there's honestly just too many to even do all of them in my opinion. But um, it's kind of what I focused on because. When you get into the other like MMO mechanics for the game and other like in-game content, like whether that be PvP or dungeons or raids, um, I don't call them raids, but that's okay. And um, 
um, honestly, when you're doing those things, they just get repetitive, and I don't even think this game has the best mechanics of other um, MMOs that I've tried, so if that's the reason I was playing this game, I'd probably be playing something else. And so, to play this way, um, continuing my quest in High Isles is kind of my top priority. Um, I found the beginning part of the story very enjoyable and kind of want to get through that so that I can try out Necrom too. And all in all, if the story and world is something you're interested in and haven't picked this game up yet, 2024 is not a bad time to do it. It's by no means dying or going to get closed down anytime soon. So, yeah. And there's plenty of story content in the base game if you just get that to start. Um, you don't really have to hop into their, like, 30 expansions at this point. But it's not that many, but you get the point. And then... Um, as far as my recommendation goes, if you're going in purely for the MMO experience, whether that be like crafting or grinding in-game content, PvP, that sort of thing, um, to me there's a bit left to be desired there, and that's partially because the combat isn't anything too special, and the PvP is a bit half-baked. It really has great potential, especially if they're Cyrodiil zone, but anyway, I'm kind of rambling off topic here, but part of why I don't find the MMO aspects of the game too appealing and yeah especially like dungeons and gets repetitive but yeah and if you're asking is it worth playing in 2024 like what was my overall experience with this I would say I did mention it just a second ago but as long as you have the right expectations with this game and hop into it for the purpose that I think is the best purpose which again other people might enjoy different things about it which is Totally fine, but I just think if you're looking for that pure MMO and want to hop into endgame, play with a bunch of people, it's really not going to be the best way to play it, and I don't think it's the best game for it. Like, I'd even recommend WoW or Guild Wars 2 at that point, but if you're a fan of the Elder Scrolls world and lore or just curious about it in general, and you want to approach this like a story game that has other players in it or other MMO elements, I honestly can't recommend it enough i think it's great for that experience and honestly the community if you're going through that approach and want to join a guild for other perks i mean it's a pretty solid community and the only time i've seen it really get toxic is when you're playing with public groups or going for the super high difficulty trials and that sort of thing so yeah and again i don't think that's the best part and me i'd ultimately avoid all of it and i will continue to avoid all of that but um yeah, hope you guys liked the video, and that's kind of my take on ESO in 2024. And if there's any other games you'd like me to take a look at next, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one. Peace.